Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. Today we are going to be continuing in Rhea Lucaria or in Liurnia. Lots of elves floating around here. The thing is, I know I said in the last episode I would do a bunch of offline stuff and I truly meant that but I, I didn't do any of that. Uh, so what we're going to be doing in today's video is actually going to the academy. The academy. See, here's the thing. I know where the key location is. We don't need to search for it. So what we're just going to do is horsey on over there, take the key and move on. Not going to fight the dragon. I don't think so. I feel like finding the dragon is just inviting trouble uh, more than I would probably even think. So we're just gonna, you know, grab and go. Interesting that one of these... Oh, shit! It has like a different attack and it's very, very resistant to magic. Which I was sort of expecting. Listen, I'm not under any sort of illusion here. I'm at, come on. By the way, I'm gonna be messing around with the controls a lot today because... This, like, I've said this before during the Dark Souls stream as well, which you should check out. There's a stream happening tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central European time. Uh, the thing is that the fact that these <laughs> games have different ways of interacting with items, it's uh, quite something, let me tell you that, to get used to. All right, we're going to peace out. Uh, and that's about it and head to the actual key. I'm a little bit worried about this area. I'm not going to beat around the bush as they say because I don't know if you noticed or not but I am extremely weak in terms of HP at least. For this game for this game this HP is is messed up this is a game where you're supposed to pump the hell out of your HP and I've not been able to do that obviously so we're just gonna have to roll with the punches here and I guess like hope for the best I think one of the issues is like I don't know why like, I've not really been fighting. What the hell is that? Is that a weapon you can get? Please tell me that's a weapon you can get. That would be sick. I haven't used any of my other spells, have I? Not really. I mean, they all suck, so... And that's one of the issues. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. I really gotta get back into the Elden Ring, like mindset here obviously you know I'm playing Dark Souls no leveling challenge with a sorcerer as well which is sort of a similar run at least in spirit but you know Dark Souls just works very differently to this game and switching ain't easy it's like being cheesy you know like look at these delays no one in Dark Souls has this much delay no one so you know oh, that would be sick and also I am way shittier at parrying in this game So, anyways I know there is a side of grace here somewhere and that's kinda of what I'm looking for there it is yeah that's sort of the dragon the Dragon side of grace. Yeah, I don't know. Can I even level up? Let's check it. Oh yeah, this is... That's sick. This is a new feature. A very, very welcome new feature. Which sh honestly should have been included since like way back. Because Dark Souls 2 has the exact same problem where when you have an item to upgrade your flasks, it'll show you that little sort of dot there that's what it's meant to do I think that is sick that is 
such a good little quality of life improvement. Because by the way, I haven't mentioned this, but obviously there was a a new patch to this game, and this is kind of what I was expecting. There was a new patch for this game, and I don't think actually a lot changed. It was mostly bug fixes and a couple of quality of life stuff. And that's the main sort of... I read through the patch notes briefly. And that's the main sort of vibe of the changes I got. Which is good. I mean, you know... I know this game has multiplayer, but this is mostly a single player game. And I always have mixed feelings when devs like buff and nerf shit in single player games. I, ha I hate that. Like, if something is OP, just let the players have it, man. Oh, this is the map. Yeah. I like, couldn't even remember how to or where to find this thing. Right, it's right there at the gate. Anyways, we are inside Rhea Lucaria. Uh, there's a lot of like bong smoking mages here, which is perfect because that's our company. I never noticed that those are the those are the towers which like teleport you to all those places. That's pretty cool. And there's some like secret back here. Uh, speaking of secrets. I mentioned this previously too, that my main weapon is in this area and I just don't know where. So there's gonna be a sneaky little edit where I'm googling where the hell my weapon is. That edit is gonna happen now. And we have our answer. It drops from those weirdos uh, in the mask, well they're, they're all weirdos in the mask here. But you know the ones that are like, they have the white robe? Those are the Lazuli Glintstone Sorcerers. Some top tier combat here. And they are the ones that drop my weapon. Anyways, I'm just gonna go to the end of this. Pick up the item and go back. I think it's a somber smithing stone. Oh yeah. Celestial do. Oh, no, no, no. This is something else. Hold on. We're gonna have to investigate. There's also a dude here who doesn't sell. Oh, come the fuck on. And he damaged the. That is messed up, man. That is messed up. He can damage the. Unbelievable. Okay. No one is here to interrupt me now. What do you sell? I have Yulog. Oh, hello. Well, this is an interesting piece of... Equip. It's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking set. Let me just... Pick this. I don't have... I don't have the cash. Hold on. But there's always consumables, so... Let me just take a look. I think one of the... Classes, the warrior, I think, starts off with this. I think this is a pretty cool set. So just only a little bit heavier. It's n nothing like... Major. Oh, the warrior. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of sick. That is kind of sick. I like that. I like that way better than what I have currently. And I think the defenses are better on it too. Anyways, let's actually get into the academy. Alright. Here we go. Going to Hogwarts. Man, I gotta tell you this. Like, now that I'm streaming again, 
I swear to you, the worst part of this all is like switching between the streaming and the recording setup because they're just like slightly different enough. This looks pretty cool. Slightly different enough that it throws me off because, you know, I have to bring the volume down in the streaming software, which is also my recording software. And, you know, I'm always stressed and turn on the audio and I'm always stressed that I'm going to forget happened to me before where you could hear me speaking over the recording as well oh man i know it's like how the fuck are they so quick they have some like stoned ass cheating unbelievable are you kidding look at how these these dudes are straight up cheating I'm calling it now. These are cheating bitches. All right, game. All right, I guess uh, having a sorcery battle against these enemies is not exactly the smartest option. Oh fucking! I'm gonna I'm gonna hate this area so much. I can already tell. I'm gonna absolutely despise this area. They take no damage either. Oh. Yeah, I'm just realizing now that this is pretty much the worst combination of enemies to my current build. Like, they're fast as fuck, they deal a significant chunk of damage. They take no damage from my attack, and there's fucking two of them. Lo are you... You've gotta be kidding me with this lock-on. Why did it lock on to him? I was trying to go for a... Oh my... This is, this is actually unbelievable. Like, this cannot be real, right? the speed I actually I actually I can't do this as in I can do this but like on a conceptual level I knew this place was gonna suck I knew it can I just backstab you thank you oh Jesus I'm so so weak I should have upgraded this weapon more Honestly. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. I can tell I'm going to enjoy this area. Um, yeah. I can spam against you, though. Oh, hey, I got that spell, too. I have that equipped. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up the tactics here. What I'm gonna do is I'll run through here until I hit up the first bonfire inside the academy or side of grace or whatever. Because this shit is... It's gonna be a struggle. I have no idea where you're supposed to go. <laughs> oh no, this is not it. Anyways... I know how soul speedrun strats work. You just run. I don't actually remember where the first bonfire is inside this place. It's early on. Right? I seem to remember there being one here already, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, nothing takes any damage. And look at how it, that was half my HP with one attack, and I just fucking touched my glasses. I'm gonna suck the. There's a giant smudge on it now. I am I am seriously in trouble. Like I don't even know what to say. No, don't block the. Come on, lock on. I'm so screwed.
Yeah, uh, again, I can only say that I, I knew this area. What the f... Where did that spell go? You have got... You have actually got to be kidding me with this. Um, nothing is working. Alright. Just... Just die. Thank you. And there's something in my eye too. This is... Oh, there it is. I knew there was one early on. This is what I wanted to find. Jesus, this this place is gonna absolutely suck. I'm gonna be so incredibly salty throughout this inc entire place that you're just gonna hear constant bitching and moaning. Anyways... I wanna kill that mage, cause... I don't know why. At least he's not using the fast spells. I have that too. Watch this. Ha! Mine are better. I have the pillar to my advantage. It's the pillar discord tech. Oh, his, his is a little bit stronger. Why is there no what, well what is a gesture in this game? <clears throat> sorely missing. Sorely missing. Um, and all of that netted me a wonderful 995 runes so far. I think what we're gonna have to do is, well, first of all, I, yeah, I haven't picked up my actual runes, which is only like 2000. Uh, I think we might have to sort of not do this place and come back later. I mean, just imagine, I'm getting a headache thinking about Renala at this point. Because Renala is mega resistant to magic as well, I'm assuming. So... You know, not to in, in order not to introduce an aneurysm in your boy, we might just have to try and go for the weapon that I want and then go and do something else and come back to Rhea Lucaria later because I don't know about this boys I mean technically I suck because I only have a plus four weapon I know that I know that I shouldn't have a plus four weapon at this stage of the game but the thing is This game do needs a lot of, you need a lot of patience for this game, especially if you're low HP. Because that was like a, a volley of attacks and it just straight up annihilated me. Why does everything do so? It's so jarring coming from Dark Souls to this. It's, Dark Souls is so different, even when you're playing at soul level 3. Sure there's shit that one-shots you, but... It's not like this. And I... This is like a consistent theme. I'm like one hit away from... Or like one point of intelligence away from being able to... One shot a lot of these. Oh! oh they drain your spell or your mana. These things grab a lot. Yeah, there is, I think... I think there's literally zero reason for me to... even attempt to fight most of these enemies here. I'm just gonna get grabbed left and right. And... have all like, my shit drained. My juices. So how about I don't do that? Actually... Yeah, cool. Alright, so I think it's just run past. Run past city. Yeah, okay, gotta charge that shit. Should last for this recording sesh. Sesh, at least. Uh, because what we're really here for... It is not what we're just really here for. It's one of the things we're here for. There's this dude. Who, like, emerges from space or some shit. He's like a Jedi. Like a space elf or something. And he has like Street Fighter footsie spells. 
He's Noob Cybot, isn't he? Actually, Noob Cybot didn't have something like this. Rain. Rain had it. The weather ball that like draws you in. A oh, fucking... Oh, I'm so tired of this game. I don't... This is... Ah, oh, this is... This recording is not working out, man. Uh, I'm gonna go back and play Dark Souls 1 instead. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. This game is out to get me today. It's one of those days, isn't it? He got them moves though. Look at the dodge. That's like... And people complain about Bloodhound Step. Ah, it's Space Elf. Cause like this, guy, this thing is like a legit Space Elf. I think it's confirmed in the lore. I want your magic Space Elf. I like your funny words, Magic Man. Yeah, eat shit, bitch. Gravity well, nice. Ooh. Finally getting some actual interesting spells. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I can navigate the inventory of this game, don't worry. One of the glintstone sorcerers that manipulates gravitational forces fires a projectile that condenses gravit condensed of condensed gravitational force. I can read, don't worry. Nice. Uh that's the sort of main attraction here aside from the lift which leads to the area that we're supposed to be going forward in, right? God, I hope it does. Yeah, it does. Don't flip over. And then if you take the other end, that's where those abductor virgins are who take you to the volcano manor, right? That's the... Which is a little bit fucked up when you think about it. Just a little bit. Are people really prepared for Volcano Manor at this point? I guess according to the game they should be. Alright. Here's the deal boys. We're gonna go back and... I will have to upgrade my weapon a little bit more. Especially if I'm gonna be farming for the other sword. Uh, I can't be doing something like this dinky ass damage. Have I talked to her already? No, no I have not. Well, let's just get this over with. Well, I mean, she's useful. I'm only kidding. We're gonna have to do the dialogue thing. This set though is sick. I totally don't even remember this dialogue. I... Because I couldn't like actually get to... Volcano Manor for a long time. I have Death Root. Alright, D. I can't believe there is an NPC named D. Yeah, I will do this. I mean, these, this is Fate stuff, but... Whatever. And what we need is... This is... I accidentally skipped this the first time around. Cool. Alright, what we're gonna do is... Yeah. 
can get a single level. Jesus, I I, th I thought I could get more. I'll I'll get to this. I'll do this quickly. And now back to Rodrigo. There's a lot of running back and forth in this place. Yeah, believe me, we're going to be using that gift. I don't even have a spirit someone I'd really want to use right now. Again, I'm going for one of the non-standard ones, or I, I want to go for one of the non-standard ones, or lesser used ones. That is apparently still really powerful. All right. Hey, excuse me. I think this takes a couple of sort of warps in and out for this to trigger. Anyways, we have an extra sword level. I guess that's going to be as good as like we're going to get. Oh yeah, I didn't pick up how did I go to what you call it, Fort Hate, and not pick up the? Because that's where the piece of the thing is, isn't it? No, I'm I'm really stupid. It's only the Dectus med medallion that's here, not the Helic Tree medallion. And the Helic Tree medallion is the one that gets Ansha to invade you. So ignore my my idiocy and. This is the one we have to go to. So, we're going back to Rhea Lucaria, and I think even with the deaths and the stuff I have to cut out, we have reached the end of the episode. One more thing I want to do before we move on is try this doink spell. This is going to be sick. This is, and this is the guy we want. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Bruh. I was expecting a bit more oomph. Imagine if he dropped one right away. That would be sick. So. Oh. Get buried. Come on. Come on, game. Nah, it would have been too good, wouldn't it? But anyways, that, my friend, is the NPC we need to... Not NPC, but the enemy we need to farm for the sword we want. And I'm g going to get around to doing just that. Uh, this is the farming spot that people recommend, so... The only thing we gotta do now is actually get to it. I really want my main weapon, so yeah, I'll wrap it up here and I'll get around to a bit of farming. And next time you see me, I should have the weapon. Well, hopefully it's not gonna take too long. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching this episode of the Sorcerer playthrough for Elden Ring. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post, notification, post notifications, and yeah. Catch you later. Peace out.